Hello there. I don't know if you can hear it or not. Uh, it picked it up the last video I made. But if you hear that whine in the background, that is my laptop's uh, hard drive or whatever. Uh, I record on my laptop and the internal mic on the laptop is picking up that fan. That's what it is. There's really no way around it unless I went to a different system and I'm so used to having the laptop in front of me where I can see the screen and see what's on there and, and see my position and all of that. It, I'm not ever changing that if I can help it. Uh, so, you know, that's the way it is. Uh, we're not doing any high production stuff anyway. You guys know me by now. You should. Anyway, tonight's shave, we're going to be using my Ever Ready 100 has a 24 millimeter high mountain white this was restored by Anthony McKenzie Jr. some time ago it's a an absolutely lovely brush I'm gonna get it wet it's a badger you don't have to really soak them much uh, like you would a bore you just need to get them a little wet and I'm just gonna pass it under the water hot water just for 30 seconds or so to get it good and wet and we're using maggot limes and bergamot just a one of my favorite lime soaps just fantastic stuff it's made by maria armin of through the fire fine craft i uh, can't say enough about maria soaps I uh, can't say enough about this Maggard's Limes and Bergamot. Just fantastic. Just like always, Maggard found a way when they wanted to put their name on something to bring you and me a really high quality value for the money. Love Maggard for that. And their business model is second to none. The customer service is second to none. They're just fantastic all the way around. Add some water to that. There we go. That's better. So, uh, the last week or week and a half have been pretty busy. I've had a ton of irons in the fire. Lots of stuff that I've been doing. And it's kept me pretty much away from the things that I would like to do. Uh... So I haven't had a, I haven't been as prominent, not that everyone's really prominent, but I've never been as, I haven't been as prominent on the, the shaving pages, Facebook pages, forums, that kind of deal. Uh, and my other channel, the uh, Hand Tool Wood uh, guy, uh, and I'll try to leave a link to that below once again but my bench build has been on hold for the same reason just life kind of getting in the way But I hope that everyone is doing really well. myself a little bit. Oh, by the way, let me clean this off. 
the razor tonight is my HL Sean Sons Sheffield 6 8 straight. Lovely little razor. That's just a little nick, and if I weren't filming, I would let it go, to be honest with you, and just uh, stop it before I went to reapply a lather because I don't want it in my brush. I don't care if it's my blood or not. I don't want it in there. If I ever get rid of the brush and give it to somebody else, I don't want that in there. So, anyway. But since I'm filming... Well, going the wrong way. There's no reason... For everybody to watch that bleed. I got myself pretty good. I wasn't on video, it was a shaved. Uh, that wasn't recorded. I got myself really good because I uh, ignored my own recommendation and uh, didn't stretch well enough when I made that cross pass, that little cross pass I do in the hollows here. And the skin rolled up underneath the razor. It cut me good. So watch yourself. Even someone that has shaved, I've straight shaved four years now, I can still forget to do something as basic, I want to put some water on my face, as stretch the skin. A little bit of water. There we go. Beautiful ladder. Of course, was there any doubt? Good stuff. Been playing some of the stuff that some of the things that has have distracted me from other things has been the fact that I've been playing a lot of guitar lately. Uh, that's good. <laughs> I've enjoyed myself. But I have a a cheap microphone pickup. I mean, really cheap, like 40 bucks for the pickup and the preamp. Coming, and uh, I'm going to be popping that in a 12 string that I have, and I may do a I may do a video showing that installation. It's pretty simple. It's uh, a 
all you do it, it it's an end pin preamp it just sticks into the butt of the guitar and the microphone comes off of that so all you have to do you don't have to run any wires or anything like that uh, heck I could install it and not even take off the strings if I wanted to uh, but uh, you just drill a, a half inch hole in the butt of your guitar where the end pin was and pop it on in there so really easy to do uh, I think I'll have to look at it you know I may end up uh, it may end up that the microphone is bigger around than a half inch and you actually have to come in from the sound hole in that case you'd have to take the strings off yeah uh, but I don't know yet but it won't ship out I, I ordered it on the weekend and they won't ship it out till Monday so I'm not expecting it for Wednesday Thursday of uh, the week of the uh, 20th the week of the eclipse uh, that's when this is being recorded I don't know when it will be posted but that's when it's being recorded uh, I'm using Williams electric shave frost lime vintage after shave them oh, a little too much but that's all right but I'm almost out of it when it's done it's done but it's good stuff and I dropped a, a boatload more menthol in it just because I could uh, and it's just eye water and popping ooh, good stuff <laughs> so uh but yeah that's what's going on i'm having a good time um i may end up uh playing a funeral tomorrow night and, or tomorrow afternoon so uh, that's what i've been working on is funeral songs songs suitable for a funeral things like that uh and just generally playing and uh working on technique things like that so you know you got to do that every now and then uh, or you begin to lose ability so but anyway thanks for coming along I really appreciate all of you uh, I hope uh, you've enjoyed the shave and I hope you have a fantastic week watch yourself with the Eclipse or Eclipse or however you want to pronounce it I'm from Hillbilly so I call it an Eclipse <laughs> anyway uh, watch yourself with that uh, even the partial eclipse, which is what we will experience, from what I understand, can damage your sight if you look at it through the naked eye, that kind of deal. So be careful. Don't be tempted to look up, but let it be. Just like the Beatles. Let it be. Let it be. Leave it to heck alone. Let it be. <laughs> you know? Uh, and be safe. All right. God bless you. <laughs> I'm going to stop being crazy now and go later. <laughs>